Hello, Cancer Souls. Welcome to your reading. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki, and I use my clear audience and channeling abilities to help people find the magic within. If you're new here, welcome. I am so excited to be bringing this reading to you today. You will receive a channeled spring word and also some channeled lyrics from a spring song from a Spotify playlist called Spring Songs. So let's see what your spring word is. I have 11 left here. You are the second video of the month here. So I found this paper that actually looks very spring-like. It's got little flowers on it just to keep with the theme. So let's see what your word is. We have fresh. Now let's see what your channeled song is. I'll be pulling it from the Spotify playlist. We have Man, I Feel Like a Woman by Shania Twain. I'm going to go channel the lyrics from that song, Cancer, and I will be right back. Sit tight. Okay, Cancer Souls, here are your channeled lyrics from the song, Man, I Feel Like a Woman by Shania Twain. Forget I'm a lady, men's shirts, short skirts, oh, 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 really go wild. Yeah, doing it in style. I have four decks of cards to accompany your messages here. The first is the Work Your Light deck. Thank you, Spirit. What other messages do you have for my Cancer Souls? Leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. Next, we will pull a card from the Moonology deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? A time for healing, the balsamic moon. Next, we will pull a card from the Divine Feminine Oracle. Thank you, Spirit. What else? Lakshmi, the goddess of abundance. I choose to feel abundant. Wealth is an inside job. And the final card will come from the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Thank you, Spirit. What are your final messages for the Cancer Souls? The Page of Pentacles. Scholarly, cheerful, dependable mischievous. Time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions or scholarships. A new area of study. Okay, Cancer. So with fresh you are on the precipice of a new 
beginning. There is a fresh start coming. There is a new chapter of your life that is opening to you. But there is a little bit of hesitancy that I can see with this leap card. Universe is saying you go first because the universe will catch you. So there is a little bit of resistance to wanting to move into this fresh start, but it's for you. It's something that is going to transcend and seriously propel you on your journey and help you learn and grow much, much more. Spirit is saying there's nothing to fear here. With the lyrics in the song, forget I'm a lady, men's shirts, short skirts, oh, 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 really go wild, yeah, doing it in style. This is a fresh beginning on a perspective that you're having with yourself. And it's because you are balancing masculine and feminine energies within you. That's why we have a time for healing. The, the masculine has been very dominant on planet Earth for a long time. But you have been going within and you have been balancing your masculine and your feminine energies. The, def the divine feminine energy within you is literally rising. Men's shirts, short skirts. So it's you balancing the polarity between these two energies, healing, allowing the feminine side of you to be more grounded, which also helps you to be more resilient in the work that you are doing. Because with the Page of Pentacles, this indicates a new course of study or a new job or a new beginning in some sort of career endeavor. That's why we have fresh and that's why we have the page of pentacles. So it's a very exciting time for you because of that inner healing that you have been doing. So keep moving forward with that. Yeah, spirit is showing me how cheerful of a person you are and how dependable you are and also how you have this aura of mischievous around yourself. You're somebody who doesn't let everyone know everything. You always keep a little bit for yourself, of yourself, and that is so important. And that's something that I really admire in the Cancer soul. I have a lot of women in my family who are Cancers, and they are some of the most dependable and amazing people I've ever met in my life. So there also is a scholarly energy. So perhaps you're embarking on going to school for something, learning a new skill. It's just like a fresh perspective. And they keep pointing out the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. They're showing me how when Will Smith came to <laughs> Bel-Air to live with his, his aunt and his uncle, how that was a a fresh start for him. He was so used to being in a different energy that he was shifted into a completely different dynamic when he moved in with his aunt and uncle who were very well off, who were very structured in a way that he wasn't used to from where he came from. So yeah, they keep saying, like they're singing the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air song and they just keep pointing out fresh here. Um, but it, it's all about like that new beginning, moving into a new energy, just like Will Smith did in that show. And with Lakshmi, the goddess of abundance, this is all about understanding that you can choose to feel abundant anytime you want. Wealth is an inside job. And it stems from how worthy you believe that you are. Because the truth of the matter is, is that you are worthy simply because you exist, okay? The fact that you are breathing, that you are here on this earth, you are worthy because of that. Just because you exist, just because you are here. 
So you can choose to feel abundant any time that you want. And wealth is an inside job. So I'm seeing that there is some healing to be had around your money mindset as well because it's also next to a time for healing. And what they're also showing me is how everyone on the planet has been so dominant in their masculine energy that created this narrative that we had to work really, really hard to make money or we had to work for a, a job that we don't enjoy. And that kept us in a masculine energy and it pushed the feminine down because the feminine teaches us that you can do less and attract more, okay? So continue to do that healing with your with balancing your masculine and your feminine energies because I'm being drawn to really go wild. Yeah, doing it in style. It's like this fresh perspective on who you are as a person and what you are creating in the present moment right now. But where do you still need to take a leap? What is going on here, spirit? Where do my cancer souls need to take a leap of faith? Thank you. I'm hearing history. So there's more study to be done here. And they're drawing me back to the page of pentacles here where it says a new area of study. They want you to learn more about your history, learn more about your ancestral lineage, because this will also help you to get a better understanding that the roles that div divine feminine energy and divine masculine energy played in your life. Like I'm being shown how you have some very strong ancestors and they have been trying to put this information in front of you is what I can see. They're, they're wanting you to learn more about your, your history and your lineage because you have a very powerful mission here to do ancestral healing, but you can only do that if you understand the history of, the, of those things, okay? They want you to get a fresh perspective on your ancestral history. And this might be certain things that are happening like a book might fall off of a shelf pay attention to those pay attention to signs that you were seeing anything about ancestry you might also get messages through your family members they might say something about ancestors or something that happened in the past roll with that when you hear it um i'm seeing that there is a resistance to wanting to learn more about what happened in the past because there's a lot of pain here, okay? And this is also something I'm going through as well. I've been actually been shown things from this lifetime. I haven't actually delved a lot into my past lives because not if, if you have a mission here to do ancestral healing, not only do you have to heal the patterns in this lifetime, but you also have to help heal the patterns from past lives. And see, the light just went poof, okay? So they want you to learn the history of your ancestral lineage, okay? So that you can begin that process. They are saying that you are safe. Take a leap of faith with learning these things because the universe will catch you. You have all the support that you need. Yes, it will be difficult to look at some of these things, but as you start to tread into it, you will find that you're going to start to observe it from a place of not judging it and just looking at it, okay, this is the next thing we got to heal. Let's do this. And you're not doing this work alone, okay? There are many of us light workers who are doing this with you. We are doing it together, okay? So learn more about the history of these past lives. It's very important to the ancestral healing that you came here to do. We all signed up for this collectively, okay? It is a time for healing. It's a time for healing. You're going to get a better idea of the roles that masculine and feminine played. I am also 
seeing that there are some things here around race. I'm also seeing there are things here around gender and sexuality, certain patterns that you'll be aware of that will help you heal those within your family, certain narratives or old beliefs that need to be let go of and transmuted back to the violet flame, all right? But in terms of a money mindset, you can choose to feel abundant anytime you want. So there are many new fresh perspectives coming in, a fresh perspective on the history of your family, a fresh perspective on taking a leap of faith into the unknown with learning new things about your family, about past lives, but also about a money mindset, a new area of study, and also understanding that wealth is an inside job. Any additional messages for my Cancer souls? They're, they're pointing out diamonds. They want you to know that you literally are a diamond. But it's almost like this, this it's that, that saying, a diamond in the rough. They want you to know that you have been shining brightly your entire life. You have been shining brightly your entire life. And your energy has actually been healing your entire life. You have been doing your mission from the day you were born, Cancer. You have been healing members of your family without them realizing it. You have broken many patterns without them realizing it. On an energetic soul level, they know, and they are all thanking you so much for all of the work you have done. They really, really are. Like, I'm being drawn to the crown that Lakshmi is wearing. And her energy is actually very strong here right now. She's drawing me to the diamonds on her crown. And she is saying that <laughs> you have a crown just like we all do. So wear it proudly because you are a queen, you are a king. And also the, the masculine feminine energies, if you are a male watching this, we all have masculine and feminine energy. So even the divine feminine is being healed within males. So this is not gender specific. And I know that the, the name of the song, I'm being drawn to the name of the song, man, I feel like a woman, but the word man and the word a woman are both in the title. So this is applicable to all genders or if you don't identify with a gender. There still is masculine and feminine energy within all of us and it's being balanced and healed right now. There is a more loving acceptance coming in the world at this time because of that healing, because we're healing the masculine and feminine, there is a greater, wider acceptance taking place on the planet because of that healing when it comes to certain gender um, pronouns and whatnot when it comes to those things. So however you identify is perfect for who you are, okay? So that is all that I am seeing, Cancer. You just have so many fresh perspectives coming in, new energy, a new area of study, choosing to feel abundant anytime you want, embracing that healing, taking a leap of faith with learning the history of your ancestral lineage, not resisting it, even though you will be shown some painful things, but we are all in this together collectively, and you have got this. Those are your messages, Cancer. If your reading resonated, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you on the next one.